Hi, I'm Steve McNeil. And I'm Daniel John Stein. We're here today to introduce to you our new textbook we've just written called Chapters in Architectural Drawing and Sketching in a Digital World. Uh, I have written four other textbooks you may be aware of, uh, two on AutoCAD and two on Revit architecture. If you're using those, thank you. Um, I am also a registered architect. I have 17 years experience in the architectural field. I have taught as an adjunct instructor in the architectural technology program at Lake Superior College. And um, we're excited about this new book to share with you. Steve, you want to tell us about yes, yourself? Yes, I'm a registered architect I, where I'm at the director of design of a large upper Midwestern firm. I've had 36 years experience in this business where I've been involved in large measures of multiple design and different projects and different levels and involved in the presentation development of many of those drawings. So the reason we wrote this textbook uh, is first thing I want to share with you. As you probably well know, there are many architectural drawing textbooks out there on the market. We felt that this one is a good mix of the basics plus how um, drawing is actually being done in the architectural field with some of the digital technologies that are available. Steve, you want to tell us Yeah, in fact, that? Uh, we have techniques that we use every single day in our practice. For example, today I use the one of the techniques you'll see in the book where we do a sketch over over a digital computer underlay. Uh, we think this, the number of techniques cover not only basic hand drawing, but also this really exciting emerging world of the hybrid between the digital technique and the hand technique. So this book was written with the classroom in mind. It has 14 chapters and which kind of relates to the 14 weeks approximately in a semester. Um, you as an instructor would lead lecture and the students could read through the chapter, uh, complete the exercises at the end of the chapter. The pages are perforated so they can be torn out and handed in. There's also a set of questions at the end of each chapter that only you as the instructor have the answers to for grading purposes. The other thing that we have developed is a DVD attached to the book. And on that are a number of instructions on how to draw that are connected into the book for various icons that occur in there. As a young boy, I, I used to get up early in the morning and watch John Nagy learn to draw. And for a visual learner such as myself, that was a great way to sort of break through some of those uh, issues about well, how do you draw and how do you, how do you get this going. So we've included those, and we think that would be a great uh, addition to the instruction. Right, and we've also, in addition to the book, have created an instructor resource guide for you to use. That is a copy that is located on the DVD that this video is on, and it has the answers to the questions at the end of each chapter. It has sample solutions to all the, the graphic uh, exercises, and it also has suggested lecture ideas and in-class assignments if you so choose to use them. Uh, part of the things that we try to develop is a book that will allow you to give this to someone to use for independent study, or you can break apart and reassemble the chapters in what other fashion you'd like to do. So we think there's a lot of uh, potential uh, technique variation that can occur. In addition to the videos that come on the DVD that each student will get a copy of with the book, we've also included a roof study workbook, a draft edition that I have written that we feel that your students will benefit from. It talks about some of the common roof forms such as gable roofs and hip roofs and also goes through some of the basic steps in, in laying out a roof plan, which, which are also drawing exercises. So to summarize, in the, in the sort of 40 years since I've left high school and uh, been involved in this business, I've had a, the exciting opportunity to see the transition from hand drawings into digital medium. But I've also had a chance to see the, the diminishing ability of hand drawing skills in students and, uh, and actually professionals. And so, first of all, we want to help provide some techniques to improve that. But second of all, there's this, as we mentioned before, this emerging crossover blending of digital and hand techniques that yield some rather interesting methods and we want to portray those and uh, present those to you. So in closing we'd like to extend the invitation for you to give us your comments and feedback on this text. Uh, we've included our personal email addresses in the instructor resource guide that you now have in your possession. So in, in, with that, thank you. Thank you.